Welcome to our lecture online. So when is the inverse of a function a function itself? Well, it turns out as follows. When a function is one-to-one, -one, the inverse of that function is a function. But when a function is not one-to-one, -one, the inverse of the function is not a function. It's a relation. And again, we can check with the vertical and the horizontal line tests. Again, we have the two functions y equals x squared, where we're limited to x being greater than or equal to zero, and here we have the function y equals x squared with no limitations. All values of x are allowed. So we can see that this function is one-to-one. -one. This function is not one-to-one. -one. How do we know? We can use the horizontal line test. You can see here that I can draw a horizontal line through the graph of y equals x, x squared, and notice that it only crosses the black line once. Over here, when I do the horizontal line test, you can see that the, that the curve y equals x squared crosses the horizontal line twice. So this is not a one-to-one, -one. this is a one-to-one -one function. Now, the inverse of the function. Notice we have the y equals x line, and the green curve right here is simply the mirror image of the black line. And notice I can do a vertical line test there. Notice that if I do a vertical line test, the vertical line only crosses the inverse of the function once, therefore it is a function. But over here, you can see again, we have the 45 degree line, the y equals x line. We take the black curve, the parabola, and we do the mirror image across the 45 degree line or the x equals y line or the y equals x line. And you can see that if I now do a vertical line test, the vertical line crosses the green line twice or the green curve twice, and therefore the inverse of the function of this function is not a function, it's a relation because, because you can see it fails the vertical line test. There's two crossings. So even though this is a function, it's not a one-to-one -one function, and if we take the inverse, the inverse of a function that's not one-to-one -one is not a function, it's a relation, and the inverse of a function that is one-to-one, -one, that will be a function as well. And that is why it's so important to understand the difference of a function that's one-to-one -one and a function that's not one-to-one. -one. And that is how it's done. Is the inverse of one-to-one -one always one-to-one? -one? Let's see here. That's a good question. Is the inverse of a one-to-one -one function a one-to-one -one function? Wow. That I'll have to think about. That I can't say off the top of my head if that would be the case or not. Hmm. Hmm. I think you're correct. I think it is one-to-one. -one. It has to be one-to-one. -one. Oh. Oh. But I can't commit. I will not commit to that until I think about it a little bit more. Because I think that takes a little more thought. Good question, though. <laughs>